Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're here in the F-16 Viper. Today we're taking on the Chinese J-20, which is supposed to be the Chinese uh, fifth generation, like best fighter they have. Uh, and we're gonna see how a 1970s era F-16 will do against the J-20. So from my understanding, the F-16 first flew in 1974, I believe. That's about 49 years ago. Um, I don't see anything on radar yet. Uh, so, you know, 49 years ago, the F-16 has seen several upgrades and, you know, various blocks right up until I think they're at the 70s now. And, you know, it's, it's obviously changed and morphed the capabilities of the F-16. Uh, but this thing is weirdly flexible in terms of... Uh, adapting to combat environments there's a reason why so many of them were sold Let's check out this uh, giant uh, cargo ship here i'll give them a little buzz here but the uh the f-16 so many of them were sold and it still remains in service uh, 49 years later with so many different mission types it can do highly versatile aircraft the f-16 i believe And you can certainly make the case that maybe the F-16 would struggle in a high-density IAD that, that's integrated air defense uh, environment in today's, you know, modern S-300, S-400s. Uh, got something on radar here, but it kind of faded out. I don't know what it was. Um, he is a stealth fighter. He might be around here somewhere. But yeah, uh, similar to the A-10, for example, which is no longer viable in a high-density air defense zone, the F-16 may also be like that, but the F-16 is much faster and much more resilient, I think. And another ship here. I'm just buzzing every ship as we go by. <laughs> Okay, and not only do I not see the J-20, I'm not getting any RWR indicators or anything like that, which is a little concerning always when things like that happen. You're fighting a stealth aircraft, that's kind of a problem. I don't quite know where to look for him. There is an AWACS off in front here, but that's obviously not what I'm looking for. I don't see this guy. Oh, there we go. Part of you are is locking me. Oh, uh, yeah, something trying to lock me here. And I think it's off the nose here. In the direction of the AWACS, but I don't see him. Interesting. Where is this guy? I gotta defend here. He shot at me. So if we're low altitude like this and he's shooting at me, uh, chances are he's pretty close. So the fact that I didn't see him means I wasn't doing a good job with my radar. Because his stealth is not gonna be that good this close. Like he's probably within 10 miles at this point. to survive. Uh, I think I see something. 
off in the distance there. I know it'll be hard for you guys to see, but I'm going to point the nose and see if the radar can find something. Uh, definitely should have been doing better radar work. I think I see something over the mountains here. Let's see. Radar. Uh, yeah, radar. See something right here. Angels 5. Eight miles off the nose. We'll point the nose. He's locking me. Uh, Fox 3 from me. And we're defending here. Definitely drop the tanks here. I'm pretty heavy. Hold on, let me just point the nose. I don't want to hit the ground here. Okay, we'll emergency jettison those. And we're cold and we're still alive, so I think we might be going. So if you're watching these videos and you want to get into DCS, definitely check out Apex Gaming PCs. This is where I got my laptop. I'm super happy with what I received. And keep in mind that they have the A-Firm program, which allows you to pay month to month so that it doesn't hurt your wallet too badly. Check out the links below to make your own custom PC that fits your budget. Big thank you to Apex Gaming PCs. Okay, we're going to do this. Uh, what's, that, what's that Tom Cruise movie? Uh, Day After Tomorrow? The edge of tomorrow? No, it's edge of tomorrow. That's what it is. Yeah, this is going to be an edge of tomorrow kind of scenario here. <laughs> where I'm going to try that again because uh, we got smoked last round. But honestly, I think that was my fault. I wasn't doing a good job with the radar. Uh, I can admit that. So we're going to try it again. Uh, I think the F-16 can, you know, pose a little bit more of a problem here. Just a little roll as we go by. Put on a show for that guy every time. <laughs> Starting to look for this J20 already. Got something off the nose here. 27 miles. That's not bad. You know, 27 miles is pretty close. I don't know how effective stealth would be at that range. I, I would imagine that's probably the low end of it there. Remember that stealth doesn't make you invisible. It just makes you harder to see harder to detect the closer you get the more probable that the guy is going to find you um, and a lot of people say the j20 is maybe not as stealth as it could be because of the canards but you know i'll leave that up to you guys to decide some people say canards are perfectly fine in terms of stealth um, he's locking me got him at 16 miles here Need to get a little bit closer Okay, he shot at me, 14 miles, Fox 3. And if I can get to the merge against the J-20, I can kill him for sure. The J-20 doesn't strike me, and from what I've heard, it's not a great dogfighter. It's more of a missile truck. Oh, there's the missile trail right there. So actually, we're going to go cold. But uh, yeah, the J-20, I mean... Theoretically, it shouldn't need to merge, you know, if it truly is stealth, it just gets close to the target, shoots missiles, and then runs away. Uh, there's no need to merge, but, you know, that's a different uh, doctrine, I guess. Like, the F-22 is a stealth fighter, but it most definitely can dogfight. Um, here we go, we're gonna buzz this ship. I've actually seen people comment, there's been a couple of comments of people being like, the F-22 doesn't dogfight, or doesn't, is not good at dogfighting, <laughs> which is a absolutely crazy thing to say. <laughs> it's so crazy. Alright, recommitting here. Also, technically, the Russian 5th generation, the Sukhoi 57, is also very good at dogfighting, uh, supposedly. So, really, the only country who has a 5th gen who is not supposed to be, or is thought to not be good at dogfighting, is China. Uh, but, you know, that's a different approach. I uh, got him locked here at Angels 3. Uh, 
15 miles. Gonna keep pushing him here. He's locking me. We're outside of range still. Twelve miles, Fox three, he shot at me, let's defend. Alright, we should be good, we should be good. I'm I'm you know doing the Mar thing, not pushing into the minimum abort range, uh, making it so that I can turn and run. Uh, I'm not going into the no escape range, if you will. No escape zone using a little bit of terrain cover what little terrain we have here I'm trying to use it uh, first by diving down you drive that missile down and then you know go below the the terrain line there the missile might hit the ground which it seems like it did Assuming it did, because, you know, it's pretty quiet. Uh, recommitting vertically here, and looking for that J-20. I recommitted first. It's not going to do me much good, though, because we're a little outside of range. I could climb. I could climb, but it would be risky, because if I, you know, can't find him on radar, it'd be an issue. Um, he is coming up on radar here, but it's not actually... It'll update here in a second. Hold on, here we go. Here he is. He is recommitted. 12 miles off the nose. Angels uh, look like one or two. He's pretty low altitude. I'm going to give him two. Because if he dodges one, he won't dodge the second one. Fox three. Eight miles. Seven miles. Fox three. And we're off. Is that risky to get that close? Yes, very risky. But I was pretty fast. And I'm going to try to drive that missile into the ground. I don't know if that's going to work, so we're going to have to kind of just make this work. I had to take that risk because I had to get super close. Oh, we hit something. We hit something off of the distance there. I think we got him. Very cool. All right, let <laughs> me defend here. see that missile it's right there I don't it's hard for you guys to see but there's a missile right there came very close <laughs> there it is it just exploded wow okay splash one j20 we got him